Microsoft has released in the latest Windows updates a notification for the start bar inviting you to reserve Windows 10 for free. Is this a good idea to update and how to remove this notification forever in this video? So we will try to find these files that the Windows update installed in the disk. There's no update that says it is actually installing these files. So it is a little bit hidden, like a test. If we go to the task manager, we will find the process right here. This is the process, get Windows 10. So we may think, okay, let's just stop this process and everything will be all right. Well, no, because you will remove the icon for this session. But once you restart the computer, you will find the icon there again and again because it is always started by task scheduler xw that's the folder that has all these files so we can just erase these files, right? well, it is not actually a good idea to do that what we will do is just disable those task jobs that open these files every time you access your user. For that we will go to start programs, accessories, system tools and inside that folder to task scheduler. You can also write down there and it will open. Inside here we'll go to the main folder, then Microsoft, then Windows, then setup and we will find the folder GWX right there. Inside there, inside that folder, we find two jobs or more. We need to disable these shops and this process won't open again. So we'll do right click and disable, right click and disable. If we find another folder starting with GWX inside setup, we will do the same with those shops inside there. If you receive some kind of error or something like that, don't worry, this will be enough with these two jobs being disabled and you will not see the icon or the process will be running again or at least until Microsoft release another new update with another method to run this process as for now this will be enough now it is a good idea to update to Windows 10 like this is a good offer right I mean it's free what the heck well it is not so clear yet but supposedly you will have the first year for free and then you'll have to pay and actually it will be not the full version it, it is related to the version you have installed on your system but apart of that I will never ever suggest somebody to update Windows to another version the best idea is to wait for the final release and do a clean install of the system always do that clean installs Thank you for watching this video, I hope I helped you. If I did, give this video a like and leave a comment. If you are liking these videos, please consider subscribing. Thank you. Okay, let's get this party started. First, you will need a bowl, like this one. I will leave you here the list of what you will need.